Welcome to this edition of Ethical Sustainable Investment News and Analysis to Profit By. I'm Ron Robbins, an ethical investing pioneer for over 40 years, quoted in the Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, The Globe and Mail, and numerous other media, and founder of the highly respected global ethical sustainable investing information website, Investing for the Soul. And please listen to my disclosure disclaimer statement at the end of this podcast. Now enjoy this podcast. Good day, afternoon, evening, or night to you. This is Ron Robbins. Welcome to podcast episode 34, published on June 19th, titled Sustainable Pandemic Portfolios. And presented by Investing for the Soul. Investingforthesoul.com is your site for vital global ethical and sustainable investing news, commentary, information and resources. Remember that you can find a full transcript, links to content, including stock symbols and bonus material, at this episode's podcast page located at investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts and Google any terms that are unfamiliar to you. Now, Zacks is one of our favorite research groups in these podcasts. Recently viewed on Yahoo Finance is a new article by them titled ESG Investing Trend to Stay Strong Post-Pandemic. Five Top Picks. Here are the five quoting first their names and then some of Zach's commentary on each one. Incidentally, a Zach's rank number one is a strong buy and a number two is a buy. Quote, one, Eli Lilly and company discovers, develops, manufactures and markets pharmaceutical products. The company's expected earnings growth rate for the current year is 12.8% compared with the Zacks Large Cap Pharmaceuticals Industries projected earnings growth of 7.9%. Eli Lilly and company flaunts a Zacks rank number one. Two, AbbVie Inc. discovers, develops, manufactures and sells pharmaceuticals. The company's expected earnings growth rate for the current year is 19.8% compared with the Zacks Large Cap Pharmaceuticals Industries projected earnings growth of 7.9%. Abvi sports a Zacks rank also of 1. 3. NVIDIA Corporation operates as a visual computing company. The company's expected earnings growth rate for the current year is 36.4% against the Zacks Semiconductor General Industries projected earnings decline of 14.3%. NVIDIA holds a Zacks rank number two. Four is Fortinet Inc. provides security solutions in all parts of IT infrastructure. The company has an expected earnings growth rate of 12.6% for the current year against the Zacks security industry's estimated decline of 15.3%. Fortinet carries a Zacks rank number two, so that's still a buy. Five, Bristol Myers Squibb Company discovers, develops, and sells biopharmaceutical products worldwide. The company's expected earnings growth rate for the current year is 30.9% compared with the Zacks Large cap pharmaceuticals industry's projected earnings growth of 7.9%, as mentioned before. Bristol Myers Squibb holds a Zacks rank number two. End quotes. Also from Zacks, Nitish Mawa has written a piece titled Make Boku Money with These Four Socially Responsible Funds. I found it on Nasdaq.com. Again, I'll mention the fund followed by brief quotes on that fund from the article. Quote, 1. New Alternatives Fund Class A 
invest in companies that contribute to a sustainable environment. The fund seeks long-term capital growth with income as its secondary objective. New Alternatives Fund Class A has Exact's mutual fund rank number one and an annual expense ratio of 1.08%. 2. Fidelity Select Environment and Alternative Energy Portfolio The fund invests the majority of its assets in securities of companies that provide business services related to alternative and renewable energy, energy efficiency, pollution control, water infrastructure, waste and recycling technologies, or other environmental support, etc. Fidelity Select Environment and Alternative Energy Portfolio has a Zacks Mutual Fund rank number two and an annual expense ratio of 0.85%. 3. Parnassus Core Equity Fund Investor Shares It invests in large-cap companies which have long-term competitive advantage and positive performance on ESG criteria. Parnassus Core Equity Fund Investor Shares has an annual expense ratio of 0.86%. And for the Parnassus Mid-Cap Growth Fund Investor. Seeks appreciation of capital by investing the lion's share of its assets in mid-sized growth companies. The Parnassus Mid-Cap Growth Fund Investor has an annual expense ratio of 0.84%. End quotes. Continuing with a big theme in this podcast is that of alternative energy. A post titled, Six Alternative Energy Stocks Still Have Significant Upside Potential and written by someone new to these podcasts, John C. Ogg. It appeared on the 24-7wallstreet.com site. Following the same procedure, I'll first mention the company and then quotes related to that company from the article. 1. Bloom Energy After coming public in late 2018, just in time to catch the market crater in the fourth quarter of that year, Bloom Energy Corp. has struggled. A clean, stationary platform of solid oxide fuel cell technology for reliable and uninterruptible power is the driving force. Bloom Energy cannot only blame circumstances for its lack of enthusiasm that this was always considered one of the future clean tech leaders prior to its initial public offering. 2. Enphase Energy Shares of Enphase Energy Inc. saw a six-fold rise from the start of 2019 into late summer, and after pulling back, it ran even higher, up to $70 or so. Enphase offers semiconductor-based microinverters for solar panels, AC battery storage systems. Earnings growth is expected to be almost 40% from 2020 to 2021. 3. Green Plains is one of the independent leaders in ethanol. It also has been using the alcohol to make hand sanitizers. Again, this is not the primary thought that might come to mind in alternative or renewable energy with other aspects of its business, but it has a primary role when it comes to ethanol. 4. Plug Power Despite a weaker overall market, Plug Power Inc. stock managed to rise during the first half of the week of June 12th. The maker of hydrogen fuel cell systems that replace conventional batteries saw some rekindled interest after it started as overweight and assigned a $7 price target at Barclays. 5. Vivint Solar Inc. offers distributed solar energy to residential customers by owning and installing solar energy systems in long-term contracts. The company recently closed on $545 million in new financing from two combined packages, and its revenues are expected to grow in 2020 
and in 2021. It is expected to reach profitability again in the next two years. 6. Capstone Turbine This one is extremely speculative. Capstone Turbine Corp develops and sells microturbine technology solutions for stationary distributed power generation. With a mere $25 million market capitalization, there have been no recognizable analyst calls in quite some time. Capstone has been a chronic disappointment in its 20-year history as a stock. Again, this one is speculative, even for the speculative sector. End quotes. Now this is important for all ethical and sustainable investors. The article is titled, Top Investors Publish List of Companies That Have Failed to Disclose Climate Data. It's written by James Murray. So why do companies not disclose such data? Do they have something to hide? To see the list, go to the link on this podcast page at investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts. Another new analyst to these podcasts is Ruben Greg Brewer. He's written a piece with the title, Three Infrastructure Stocks to Buy Right Now. These stocks are often mentioned in these podcasts. Quoting Mr. Brewer, Companies that own infrastructure often pay generous dividends from the reliable cash flows their assets generate. If that sounds like something you'd like to have in your portfolio, then you should take a close look at Diversified Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, Midstream Focused Enterprise Products Partners, and Utility Next Era Energy. Right now. End quote. Our friend Tim Nash over at Corporate Knights has another insightful post titled Pandemic Portfolio. Spotlight on the NAACP Minority Empowerment ETF. He writes that protests have erupted across the world calling for racial equality and police reform. Although these protests have had little impact on the market, they've raised a good question. Can investors support companies that promote minority empowerment? while earning market rate financial returns. The NAACP Minority Empowerment ETF is an exchange-traded fund from Dallas-based Impact Shares, which specializes in socially conscious ETFs. According to its fact sheet, the NAACP ETF is designed to provide exposure to U.S. companies with strong racial and ethnic diversity policies in place, empowering employees irrespective of their race or nationality. Since its inception in July 2018, the NAACP Minority Empowerment ETF has closely tracked and actually outperformed the S&P 500 by about 4%. Though with only about $4 million in assets under management, Liquidity issues could arise. The fund has a high management expense ratio of 0.75%. End quotes. Lastly, Mr. Nash says, I'm happy there's an option for investors support companies that are leading on diversity policies and minority empowerment. End quote. Well, these are my top news stories and tips for this podcast. And to get all the links, stock symbols, and more, or to read the transcript of this podcast, and with additional information too, please go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcast and scroll down to this episode. Also, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons in iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you download or listen to this podcast. And please click the share buttons to share this podcast with your friends and family. 
That way you can help promote not only this podcast, but ethical and sustainable investing globally. We can all do our part in helping create a better world, especially in these deeply troubled times. Contact me if you have any questions. Stay well, healthy and wise. Thank you for listening. Talk to you again on July 3rd. Bye for now. Learn how to create a simple portfolio reflecting your personal values by taking my one-hour tutorial. Go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts and click the link in the right-hand column for my DIY Ethical Sustainable Investing Pays tutorial. Now, I'll mention in the podcast if I have any direct interest or holdings in companies or securities I'm talking about. Furthermore, any news, opinions, analysis or other information offered by myself as well as references and information to or from other external sources in this podcast is provided as general market information and should not be relied upon and thus does not constitute investment advice. Investors should consult their own licensed investment professional before making investments. Also, I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on information in this podcast. Do contact me at ron r at investingforthesoul.com. Signing off, this is Ron Robbins.